What's up guys? Today uh, Tyler's going to be bringing the Mini back on the channel. We're going to do a how to uh, change oil. Let's jump into the video. Here is a list of all tools required and materials required. Here's the filter location. Uh, it's T45 drain plug and a 32 millimeter for the housing. Oil drain location, 17 millimeter. All right, here we're using the 17 millimeter wrench to loosen, lefty loosey. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just take your time with it. Careful, it is hot. If you let your engine warm up, which you should have, uh, the oil will be hot and the bolt may even be hot. So be careful. Make sure you guys have your oil catch container perfectly uh, aligned so then that way you don't make a mess on your guys' floor, shop floor, ground, wherever you're at. All right, here we're using the 32 millimeter socket to remove the oil filter housing. Be sure to take your time because it is a plastic housing. You don't want to crack it or anything like that. Here we're opening all the O-rings and everything that came with the filter cartridge. Uh, be sure to lay it all out, make sure all the pieces are there that are required. Here we're using a scribe or a small screwdriver to get the old O-rings off. Um, and it's just reverse order, replace them back on there. Make sure you put some fresh oil on there, uh, on the O-rings, that way everything's lubricated good for when you put it back in. Here the filter is gonna has some grooves on the bottom of it. You're gonna go ahead and pop it in. You'll hear when it actually does go in the way it's supposed to. It makes a loud clicking noise. Also with this, it comes with uh, crush washers for the oil drain bolt. So be sure to replace those as well. Not in the video here. It's not listed, I guess. Here we're putting the uh, drain plug of the oil filter cartridge uh, again that's gonna be a t55 torx bit just go ahead and tighten that up make sure everything's uh, goes together well and don't cross thread anything just take your time here we're placing the filter back in and be sure to to take your time and not cross thread it. Everything should go together nice and easily. Um, get it in there hand tight and then use the 32 millimeter to tighten it up the rest of the way.
Here we're reinstalling the drain plug, which is 17 millimeter. Again, make sure you replace the washers on it and take your time, hand tight, and then use the wrench and snug it up. All right, we're all tightened, we're all good to go. Next, we're gonna put 5.6 quarts of 0W20 full synthetic oil in. Better to underfill than overfill. So you could always add 5.5 quarts and then at the end of the video we're going to show you how to check your oil level because of course these cars don't have a dipstick so it's better to underfill don't overfill it can cause engine damage all right leak check time so now you're going to go start your car let it run for a few minutes, make sure there's no visible signs of leakage, and you'll be good to go. Be sure to like and subscribe, it greatly helps the channel, thank you. Now obviously we're not going to let this run for a few minutes, but you know, you guys are going to get the idea. Time to close her up, no leaks, good to go. Tyler's gonna get under there, just do another visual inspection, make sure there's nothing leaking, everything's good to go. And then he's gonna close up those uh, hatches, if you will. Here I'm gonna show you, Tyler made an awesome spreadsheet to keep track of all of the mileage and oil changes uh, for warranty purposes. I suggest you do the same, make your own, uh, yeah. Here we're going to reset the oil life. Um, there's a button in your left hand corner of your speedometer cluster, if you will. Um, you're going to hit that button and then you're going to toggle to reset oil life and then you're going to hold the button again and it will do it. And of course, I had his passenger door open, so I was giving us some issues, so I closed the door and he restarted it. Here you can see where reset. Here you go, now we're gonna check the oil level, which to me as a mechanic, it is crazy that does not have a dipstick, but you gotta love technology, so here we're gonna use the infotainment system to check the oil.
all done. Thanks for watching, guys.